I'm going to hazard a guess. My guess is that typically when you uh, begin to read for an assignment, you have your book on one side and your notes on the other. You read from the first sentence to the last. As you read a paragraph, you try to glean the main idea of the paragraph. You make a dash or a dot. You write down that main idea and maybe a detail or factoid that quote unquote seems important. After 10 minutes, you have written a handful of notes, read a page and a half. You don't know what the notes mean, why you wrote them down, or how's it, how it's going to help with the test. Oh, and you're very tired. Very, very tired and bored and frustrated. Does that sound about right? Reading from the first sentence to the last is almost the worst way to read. Trying to understand everything in one step is a mistake. Think of a forest and you're attempting to traverse the forest. The attempt to read without skimming is tantamount to walking through a forest without a map. It can be done, but it takes a lot more time. It's very frustrating and get lost and maybe even be in danger. However, uh, should one have a map, crossing the forest is much easier. Skimming a text, as opposed to reading from the first sentence to the last, skimming a text allows one to create that map and then not get lost. To be clear, skimming is not speed reading. Speed reading is reading from the first sentence to the last very quickly. Skimming is selective reading, and it's what you do before you perform a careful reading. Come to the text with questions. The questions you try to answer are who, what, where, when, why, how, whether, and which. And when you skim, you look for the answers to those questions before a careful reading. You skim to find the pieces and in a careful reading, you assemble them together. Now, there are more specific versions of these general questions that I just gave you, of course, and I will cover those specific questions that you need to answer when reading philosophy and submitting your reading quiz. Once you have completed skimming, you have your map. And once you have your map, then you can read from the first sentence to the last. Then you can re do your close reading and take those careful notes, knowing what each part of what you're reading is supposed to do, how it's all supposed to fit together.